sir sadish menon for good morning sir morning uh, toastmaster sadish menon for the office of district director this candidate show will be presented before the elect before the election during the district council meeting please answer the following questions there are 15 questions and 5 minutes for you you can take up take as much as time you want to answer one or more questions for example you may take 5 minutes to answer one more one more more questions or answer all 15 questions in 5 minutes or less the session ends when the time is over or 15 questions are over whichever is earlier you are allowed to pass the questions without answering also it is not the number of questions that you answer but your thoughts and articulation that is important do you need any further clarification no i am good timer please show the red card at 5 minutes in case i miss it please alert me through voice message so here we go how long you have been in toastmasters i have been in toastmasters since the year 2013 so that makes 8 years in the moment what are what are the elected posts you held from the club level onwards i have been uh, the club president of my club then i have been the area director of my erstwhile area then i have been a division director uh, i have been the club growth director for the undivided district 82 where i was for district 82b and currently i am the program quality director of uh, district 120 what are your strengths to take up this post so my strength to take up this post i believe is uh, having all close to three decades of work experience uh, working with uh, varied individuals and customers across different cultures and countries uh, has given me the exposure on how to grow an organization uh, from five individuals to close to now 600 plus individuals and the learnings that i have taken in my work experience i'm sure those same learnings i can bring into toastmasters and i have brought into toastmasters which i feel will benefit the organization and the members describe yourself in one sentence if i want to describe myself in uh, one sentence uh, it would be like i am an individual who's uh, who you can say is to be always an optimist uh, i don't uh, regret anything that i did in the past in terms of my failures and i always look forward to every new day being a new day and with new opportunities what is the one change you propose to take up during your tenure the one change that i propose to take up during my tenure is to make the members more responsive to attending their club meetings because i believe that any toastmasters movement can only be successful if the members and clubs thrive and the only way that can happen is if members learn how to get the full value out of their time and money that they are investing in toastmasters are leaders born or made leaders are always made because all of us learn from our experiences and the true leaders are the ones who learn every day and who don't claim to be that they know everything what are the core values of toastmasters and highlight one the core values are respect integrity service and excellence and uh, as somebody who's aspiring for becoming the topmost uh, officer in the district uh, i would say that the number one value out of the four that i will want to upload and lead by example is integrity because that is what makes or breaks an individual as a toastmaster district officer when you have to choose between morally right and legally right which one you will choose if it has to be chosen between morally right and legally right i would uh, look for something which is legally right because most of the things which are legally right will also be morally right and in toastmasters we have such a good ecosystem of rules and regulations if we follow that properly Uh, i don't think we will ever come to a situation where i be have been kind of forced to choose between morals and uh, legal rules toastmasters leadership role helps one's personal and professional life 
which one helped you the most and how i would say the toastmasters roles helped me more i would say in my uh, professional life because whatever i learned in toastmasters i was able to take those learnings back into my professional engagement uh, mainly on the side of how to interact with people how each, each individual is different how to respect the other person's point of view and also to say that everybody in this world is important and has an opinion okay this is the last question for you if you have to choose between quality and quantity in toastmasters which one you choose and why toastmasters being an organization which is dedicated to building up the uh, communication and leadership skills of individuals quality will always play a paramount part over quantity because it is about development self development and leadership development where quality is always first quantity comes later thank you toastmaster sadish menon for joining us all the very best thank you thank you distinguished toastmaster abraham zakaria thank you very much